Yeah, so one of the things, because there's so many sticks down and I have dogs, every stick is a dog stick. Oh, these are gross. <laughs> All right. You can play. This is a good place for the dogs. They are very happy here. They get to play and romp and sniff stuff and find things that are... They find sticks and there's animals. There's the river, which isn't particularly good for the dogs. But I would hope that I can do something about that a little bit more. Uh, getting rid of weeds and trying to clean up the shoreline a bit would be a good idea. But I have to be careful because this is the Mississippi River and there's the whole Department of Natural Resources and there's rules and regulations and all that other fun stuff that I'm going to have to investigate rather than just, you know, doing a thing and then going, well, I didn't know, because that's a really good way to lead to very expensive um, repairs or setbacks to some, you know, original pristine state. Never really had to do that before. So it's a learning experience. Wow, okay, this isn't a branch, this is a whole tree. Yikes. Oh, I see. That birch fell over and did a number on that one. In case you didn't know it, trees are heavy. That's going to need the chainsaw to do anything with because this is solid enough that uh, I'm going to do it by hand. I do a little bit by foot. You want stick? Yeah, that's that's not a stick. That's a log, sweetie. Every stick's a dog stick. All right, here, I'll give you that one. Go, take it. I'm gonna get that one. You're very healthy. You're very healthy with all the sticks.
Get that stick. You get that stick. Oh. Get stick. Oh, big stick. Big stick. You still want to play with the stick? <laughs> this is my stick. You can't have it. Oh. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Okay, ready? <clears throat> I got the thing, you want the thing. One of the most favorite dog games ever. She's gonna rain again. Just felt it drop on my head. See, she got this stick. All right, he's throw. He's throw. Huh? You want know this throw? He's throw stick. He's throw stick. Huh? Oh. Piper got the stick. Piper got the stick. Oh, I got stick. Oh, I got stick. No, no. I got stick. Sissy wants other stick. Cha cha cha. Oh, broke in two pieces. There's two sticks. Now there's two sticks. Yeah. Should go get that other stick and then you can have one. It's no fun when each dog has a stick because there is only one true stick. See, you got stick. See, you got your stick. They love that game. I used to think that Sissy didn't like it because Piper was the bully, but it turns out that Sissy really loves playing with her sister. <clears throat> it's poop. It's poop. Oh, it's stick. Sissy got the stick. Sissy got the stick. Sissy got the stick. Okay. I'm going to lay down and chew on the stick. Yeah, because we can. At least nothing fell on the buildings. And you know, the tent is still standing just fine. I'm really kind of impressed with this tent. I, I have to say, it's a Harbor Freight special. And you know, I used to get those, you know, little 10, 10 by 10 foot canopy tents and those things are ridiculous. You pay close to a hundred bucks for one of those. I had one that didn't last a day. That's when I decided to look into something that was slightly more expensive. I think I got one of those tents for 170 at one point, which considering the quality of it, how good it is compared to what, <laughs> what those flimsy tents are, there's no comparison. They're also a pretty good size, which is, Makes it, makes it nice for the other things. I'm just going to drop these off in here. Because I can cut them. Oh, oh, oh it's thick.
Piper, where's stick? Go get stick. Not here. Not the stick. No. No. Not the stick. You got the stick. Every stick's a dog stick. I have very healthy dogs. Poopa! Poopa! Okay. There's good stick. Yeah, there's good stick. Okay, you got good stick. I want the special sticks. See if I can go get some of these down here. Thank you, Piper. I would like the little rinse. Oop. No. It's not even wood anymore. Oh, wood mushroom. And the dogs are playing in the river.
What are you doing, putter butts? What you doing? Hmm? Thank you so much. I'm just sharing the experience. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing, Sissy? What you doing? She's down playing in the water. Normally she has not been a big water dog, but playing with Piper has really introduced her to new stuff. And she gets just as wet and dirty as any of them. She still only will go in to a certain height. And that's okay. I don't need her to go out and go swimming. I would prefer if she didn't. I do have to be careful of ticks. I've already found a couple. Definitely on me more than the dogs, but I'm pretty sure they come from the riverside here where the grass is long and there is much romp and disturbance. trip back up the hill, carrying a load of wood. I don't know if you can notice this, but most of the yard here is moss. I am not at all upset by that. It's much easier to deal with than grass.
I'm going to need to do some maintenance on this cart. But for right now, it's a wonderful piece of equipment for this property. Sassy! Popa, shush. Popa. Now there's another thing I'm going to have to uh, deal with. I think that was an old wood burner stove from the creepy cabin that used to be here. But I'm not entirely sure. This place has a lot of history. Hello, sissy girl. Did you have a good time? There's the great plastic tote graveyard. Graveyard's the wrong term. They're just out here to have a place to deal with them. They're plastic bins. They're not going to suffer badly because of rain. Alright, I think I'm going back in.